What's going on everybody? My name is Trip Flips here and welcome on back into another Lego set review. So in today's video we're going to be reviewing a Lego Star Wars set from January earlier this year and this is the 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack and this is a really cool set. It has less pieces than the 2021 because the 2020 version did retire which is why the 2023 version came out and yeah it's probably the maybe, maybe the best lego set in this wave because of all the clone troopers that you get and the special turret and yeah it's a really cool set for a lot of clone wars fans anyways let's get into reviewing the set first let's look at the minifigure starting with the 501st officer and this is a really cool figure in this set. I love the antenna piece that they're using in blue, just like Boba Fett. And the printing on the helmet looks really cool, especially the leg printing on the bottom. And there is some skirt printing. We would have gotten an actual skirt, which I would love. It's kind of like making a Captain Rex. And yeah, it kind of remind, reminds me of Captain Rex from Lego Star Wars of Skywalker Saga. I especially love the back torso printing, and yeah, it's a really cool figure. You take off the helmet, you can see they're using this usual head that they're currently using for the clone troopers in the set. In fact, it's used on all of them in this set. So that's pretty cool. Next up, we have the Fabo First Clone Specialist, and this is a super cool clone figure that we have here, and yeah. I love the goggles that they're using on the helmet, which you can lift them up like this, so you can see the more of the clone helmet. And yeah, looks really cool. I especially love this big blaster that they're using for this figure. And yeah, I love the back torso printing, with the, the detail, it's kind of like belt detailing. And yeah, looks really cool. And last but not least, we get two of the 501st Heavy Troopers. And yeah, they look, they're they really cool minifigures. I have one of them, and if you look at one of them, you have the, the blaster, which has been used in one of the Dark Troopers from Mandalorian and other figures. I especially love the visor, which you can lift up. And I love that they're using this in blue, pretty much for the first time ever. I love the, the belt detailing and kind of like a um, a rope on the torso kind of thing and on the back they they both have the neck bracket with a one by one tile with printing on it which is really cool and yeah it's pretty neat when when we took off the neck bracket you could see we get some back printing with the torso strap continuing through. And yeah, it's really, they're really cool figures in the set. And last but not least, you get the main build in this set, which is the turret. And I love this build for the turret. And you, you get this um, sort of like body here, which, you know, holds the four legs, which is really cool. And this turret, this, yeah, it's really cool. You can turn it like this, interestingly enough. And I love the cannon that you get. And you get this cool spring-loaded shooter, which you can use to launch. Like, like this. Don't worry if you lose one. There's an extra one if you need. And yeah. And interestingly enough, you can place one of your 501st clone troopers. For example, I'm taking the heavy trooper. And yeah, you can see how cool this is. It's using the turret and yeah, it's one of the fun features that you can get in the set. And here you have it guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to keep me posted. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.